Hey everyone, Rob here, and we've got some updates on the earthquakes that have been going on in Iceland, near the Keflavik airport, near the Blue Lagoon, and in and around Grindavik. Now, just before midnight, an earthquake swarm began in the Magmatana Arrekines, just east of Snilingerfett. Now, the earthquake series lasted for more than an hour, and around 170 earthquakes were recorded. Most of them were below a magnitude of 2, and you can see the image here. Now, this is all a report from the Meteorological Office, which was received uh, by the media last night. Now, one of the earthquakes measured a magnitude of 3 during the first run, uh, and it originated just north of Hagafet. So that's interesting. Earthquake tremors have been ongoing since October 27th at Thorpjord, and it's been relatively quiet the last few days, but it seems to this, and this is why they released this news announcement, it seems like it's picking up. And it's also stated on the website of the Meteorological Agency by a post by a geoscientist at 5.30 in the morning that since midnight, almost 300 earthquakes have been at the magma tunnel. And again, the largest being a, a magnitude of three at Sundnuk. I hope I said that. Now, a total of 700 earthquakes were recorded at this magma tunnel yesterday. And you can see where this is located. You can see the dots here. And the magnitude three was right here, this biggest one. The Blue Lagoon is to the left of that, which is this, you know, blue looking lake. Yeah, so very interesting to see all of this. Now, as we move forward, looking at Grindavik, we have from the news agency, Arman Höskulsson, hopefully I got your name right, professor of volcanology at the University of Iceland's Institute of Geosciences, believes that there is very little chance of an eruption starting inside the town of Grindavik. Basically saying that there is really no chance of it erupting in Grindavik, but it could erupt in Hagafet, which we could see is down here, right below this swarm there. Now, he says it's the most dangerous place is near Hagafet, that part of the town that's closest to that. Um, and if something happens, it should happen around there. Now, if Hagafet were to erupt, um, Grindavik would have time, probably an hour or maybe even a few days before the lava would reach the town. If nothing was going to happen there and it was going to happen in Eldvorp, if we take a look at the map again, we can see um, it's actually not on this map here, but I believe it's just uh, to the left. Yep, here it is to the left here, this sort of road over there. Um, yeah. So, so the center of the system is there, which is most vulnerable. Uh, he believes that the greatest chance something different will happen. Um, if it does happen over there in Elvot, then the risk to the town is even less. Uh, and he says that anything else would be abnormal other than these two scenarios. And occasionally eruptions can happen at the edges, but it's not the norm. And the norm is you know in the center of the system. His opinion, again, when he's speaking to uh, the news agency, MBF, the danger to Grindavik and the town is very small. Work needs to be done before people can go back home. They're still not at home. Infrastructure is still dismay, as you can see here. There's, you know, the road is cracked all over the place. Uh, houses are in need of desperate repair. So, in a few months, <laughs> he says, in a few months, and I'm just quoting, when the repair has been made, in his opinion, there's nothing to prevent them from going home. Now, hopefully, they are not stuck for months at a time outside of their homes uh, especially for christmas but uh, we'll see how it goes that's it for all the news um, i will keep you up to date it seems like the earthquakes and seismic activity is building back up again near the blue lagoon and uh, we'll see how this develops over the next few days so thanks so much for watching